Hey everyone, it's Aki here. Today, I'm going to help you decide which bike mounting option is best for you. I've got the DJI Action 4 camera here with me, along with two mounting accessories, the handlebar mount as well as the chest mount. I'll quickly demonstrate how to use each mount and show you the footages from both options. Then, based on my personal experience, I'll break down the pros and cons of each. So if you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment below to let me know which mount do you prefer. Alright, first up, we got the bike handlebar mount here. To put it on, just wrap it around the handlebar. Make sure it's nice and secure. There you go, it's not moving anywhere. And to make adjustment, loosen this knob here and tighten it back in once you're happy with it. Next up we have our Action 4. Let's secure it onto the bike mount as well. There you go. And you can adjust the position however you want. You can go like this or you can just stand it up straight. One thing about these ball joints is that you can rotate them 360 or you can turn it around if you want to film yourself. It's a lovely sunny afternoon here by the harbor except it's a little bit chilly and windy but we're going to be testing out the DJI Action 4 camera on the bike mount. Okay, we're biking on Mason Bricks right now. It's a little bit, little bit bumpy. On the bumpiness scale from 1 to 10 in my head, I rate this as a 6. So, you're watching the footages right now. You should see it shakes a little bit. After testing out the handlebar mount, here's my take. One major advantage is its versatility. You can mount it on any metal bar and it allows you to film yourself by flipping the camera to face you, a feature that the chest mount lacks. However, there are some downsides. The footage can be more shaky because the vibration from the bike transferred directly to the handlebar. Additionally, in urban areas like mine, you will need to unscrew and remove the handlebar mounts every time you park your bike to prevent it from being stolen. Next up, we have the chest mount. We have a front and a back here, and we're just gonna put it on. Um, I love the design of this. It actually makes it super easy to to wear it. All you need to do is go like this, wrap around your neck, buckle this up, and then the other. Buckle goes here. There you go. And you can tighten or loosen it. Depends on your size as well as the amount of clothing you're wearing. So this is the front and this is the back. Now to put the camera on, unscrew this little attachment here and then twist this thing here on. There you have it. And you can adjust the viewing angle of the camera as well. So very convenient to remove the chest strap. It's very quick as well. Unbuckle, unbuckle, and there you have it. It takes less than three seconds. 
we're gonna go straight. There you go. After that intersection back there, we're back to a um, very safe ride. Bike friendly ride. This is always one of my favorite part of the city. Got some uh, cool architectures and a really cool river, Navy Yard. If I were to guess, I think the chest mount will definitely give you a nicer and smoother bike ride footages. After testing out the chest mount, here's what I found. One big advantage is that the footage is much less shaky compared to the mounting directly on the bike. This is because the mount is attached to your body, which acts as a natural stabilizer. Additionally, the point of view perspective combined with the ability to see my hands and the front of the bike makes the footage more immersive and entertaining to watch. However, there are some drawbacks, such as the mounting position is fixed, so you're limited to the forward facing view. This can be a limitation if you want to capture different angles or perspectives. Also, in the winter, when wearing bulkier clothing, it can be very difficult to put on or remove the chest mount strap, which may be a bit inconvenient. So, conclusion. Hopefully, you now have a good idea of which mounting option is more suitable for you. Personally, I prefer the chest mount because it's more immersive, allowing you to see your hands and the front of the bike with your body movement. The footage is also more stabilized because your body absorbs the vibrations. However, the trade-off with the chest mount is that you're limited to only one camera angle, which is facing forward. On the other hand, with the handlebar mount, you can mount the camera facing you or anywhere else, as long as there's a bar attached to it. Let us know which mounts do you prefer, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Aki and I will see you in the next one.